Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky, Jr. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky, Jr. from Unique Designs with another Brand Doctor Podcast episode. Hope everybody's doing amazing today. You know, it's funny. I am officially two weeks in to fatherhood, and today's episode is all about sort of parenting your brand like you would parent your children, and for those of you that are listening that have kids, you guys are going to connect with this, and for those of you that don't, you may you might have a pet, you might have a cat, you might have a dog, you might have a bird, hamster, whatever, um, so you may be a parent in another way, however, uh, the topic of conversation and the point of today's episode is this. You know, the one thing that I've learned thus far in fatherhood is you have to have a tremendous amount of patience. Patience is what's going to make your brand thrive. Patience is what is going to make your children thrive. Without patience your brand's going to die. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. So, the past couple of weeks have been extremely interesting. Um, my patience has been challenged tremendously over the course of the past two weeks, not only from business, but from, you know, parenting and being pulled in 17 different uh, directions uh, at the same time. You know, when my... When my baby's crying, why is he crying? Is it, you know, is it that he's hungry? Is it that he's positioned uncomfortably? Is it, does he have a dirty diaper? You know, it's like I have to go through all these different split tests, if you will, to find out how I can soothe and how I can serve, you know, my child and and get him to be comfortable again. And the same thing goes with your brand, guys. There's going to be times when you put stuff out there that you're going to piss people off. People are going to troll you. People are going to get all fired up. You're going to have people complain about you and talk crap about you, you know, despite whether it's true or not. You know, the marketing campaigns that you put out on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, you know, some of them aren't going to work. But patience is what's going to help you drive your brand forward. You know, think of it for all of you parents out there. Think of it the first time um, your child began and tried to walk. You know, they didn't come out of the womb, you know, walking and sprinting up and down your, your, your living room floor or up and down your front lawn. You know, they had to crawl. Then they had to walk. And then they had to jog, right? And then they got to the sprint, right? And at the end of the day, building your brand is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And you have to understand that exercising your patience is what's going to help you take your brand to the next level. So you got to parent it. You know, patience, I believe, is a muscle. And the more you exercise that muscle, the stronger it will become. The good news is, is you have 100% control over the amount of patience that you have. Don't BS yourself and try to pawn it off on somebody else. Well, that person pissed me off so much. He, you know, I lost my patience with that person. No, you lost your patience with yourself. That external factor had nothing to do with it, quite frankly. You had every bit of control over your patience. You decided to lose it. You decided to give up. You decided to react the way you reacted. It's nobody else's fault. So you have to stay patient with your branding. And what I'm learning in parenthood is you have to stay patient with parenting. Because you have to understand that you're going to be tested. 
things aren't going to work. It's going to feel like you're out of control and that anything that you do doesn't work. Right? But you have to stay patient. You have to keep moving forward. You have to try different things. And I have to be honest with you, you know, I've said this a hundred times already to friends and family members and, and, you know, I am so grateful and thankful that I have my wife as my team member to help me become a great dad, to help me become a great parent and father, husband, son. I don't know how. And big shout out to all of you single parents out there. I don't know how you do it on your own, but I give you so much props and so much love and so much respect because it's tough. You know, when my wife runs out to get her nails done or to go grocery shopping and I'm hanging out with the, with Dante and I'm trying to, you know, sue them after a, a whale session, uh, you know, crying like crazy, I'm like, I don't know how single parents do it. I don't know how they do it. And the same thing goes with your brand. You know, it amazes me how so many entrepreneurs and business owners out there are trying to be single parents to their brand. And it's tough. You know, I've spent the last 10 years building my brand and a a large chunk of my career, my entrepreneurial career was on my own, falling down and breaking bones and, you know, trying to figure it all out, making tons of mistakes. And then I got a coach. Then I got a couple of coaches. Then I got coaches in different parts of my life. And it was that unit that helped me take my brand to the next level. It was getting that help that helped me take my brand to the next level. So, you know, big shout out to all the single parents out there. Big shout out to the people that are just trying to chip away one day at a time. But one thing I I have to, you know, bring home in today's episode is staying patient and staying how important it is to building your brand. And it's one day at a time, guys. You got to do one thing at a time to help you connect with your audience. Because remember, this is basic stuff. This is fundamental relationship building, confidence building 101 when it comes to building your brand. But you're never going to get anywhere if you lack the patience to do it. So there you have it, guys. Hope you got some value out of this one. Please, if you can share this podcast with a friend or someone that could get huge value out of it, please do. That's the only thing that I ask from you guys. Keep tuning in. I'm going to keep bringing you as much value as I possibly can to help you take your brand to the next level and really create a a life for yourself that you're proud to promote, proud to live, and just continue to stay in your lane. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky, Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.